Hi everyone, my name is Renee and I'm the Student Recruiter Advisor for North Island College at the Campbell River Campus. Today we're going to be focusing and learning more about our new Computer Information System Certificate Program, which is launching this September 2020 at the Campbell River Campus. And today I have um, Brian Kohler, who's the Program Instructor, joining me. Hi Brian, thanks for joining us. Thanks Renee, I'm glad to be here. Awesome. So we're going to dive right on into um, the presentation. So again, this is for the Computer Information System Certificate. Um, this is brand new at the Campbell River Campus starting fall 2020. It is a one year long program um, and applications are open now. Um, so this program really was providing an introduction to um, modern information systems. Um, in providing you entry level training to get into this industry. So Brian's gonna speak a bit more in depth and then I'm gonna go over some admissions, financial aid and other support that NIC provides. So over to you, Brian. Thanks, Renee. Um, I really wanna focus on two things in this presentation, the required skills and aptitudes that are necessary to get employment in the sector, and then just profile a couple of potential jobs that you might find yourself in after completing the certificate. In terms of required skills and aptitudes, I've got a list of them at the top of the slide here, and they really fall into two major categories, and that is analytical skills, which I think everybody associates with information technology, but also communication skills. And those communication skills are really important because many organizations employ information technology and have employees that are not necessarily experts in information technology that are relying on those individuals that are expert in those areas to solve their problems and communicate those solutions uh, to them. The two uh, career profiles that I want to look at today are that of user support technician and computer network technician. So user support technicians are those individuals in an organization that have uh, a broad range of knowledge. Um, about computer hardware and computer software. They also have those excellent communication skills so that they are able to work with others in the organization and explain those technical details uh, clearly. And uh, user support technicians, they may work for a computer hardware manufacturer or retailer or software uh, developer or pretty much any other private or public sector organization uh, that uses information technology. The outlook for user support technicians in BC is very good. This slide shows the five-year and 10-year growth rate in employment in, expected in this sector, and also the number of job openings, which is expected to be uh, over 2,000 in the next 10 years. This slide summarizes the salary for user support technicians. It gives a high and a low and a median range, and you can see that's quite broad. Uh, the actual salary that you might end up earning uh, working in this uh, job role is gonna depend on a number of factors, primarily level of education, um, years experience in the sector, and also individual performance. But overall, uh, the salary outlook for this job is quite strong. The second role I want to profile is that of computer network technicians. Um, computers inside an organization don't stand alone. Uh, they are ultimately all connected to a local area network or the internet at large. And most systems that are running on top of that hardware depend on connectivity to uh, the network. And so what a computer network technician is going to do is they are those individuals in an organization that set up and maintain internet and and internet websites and web servers. They uh, configure and monitor the hardware associated with computer uh, networking. And again, like computer user support technicians, they should really be flexible, creative, and skilled uh, at problem solving. And again, they are gonna need those communication skills in order to deal with others uh, inside the organization that they work for. <clears throat> The outlook for computer network technicians also over the next five and 10 years, very similar to that of computer user support technician. And also the salary outlook very solid as well. 
again, a relatively high range depending on education, experience, and uh, individual performance. <clears throat> We focused on these two positions, user support technician and computer network technician. Uh, I've just listed on this slide some of the other job titles that you might see that are related to these. And uh, the final point I want to make is that uh, when you complete the computer information systems, when you complete the computer information system certificate, mm -hmm. you will end up uh, qualifying for a wide variety of um, entry level jobs in this sector, not necessarily only these two. In terms of what you will learn, the courses are really focused around providing you uh, those key analytical skills that are really important in the sector, but also embedded in these courses are uh, modules on developing your communication skills as well, which are equally important. So in terms of the core analytical skills that you'll be learning, math, statistics, and programming, those are the foundations of uh, many information systems. And then also a wide variety of courses uh, that specialize in terms of uh, content on a number of areas that appear in the information system sector, such as operating systems and architecture, software engineering, uh, web scripting, database fundamentals. Those all represent kind of key areas that uh, are part of many information systems in many organizations. The last thing I want to mention uh, about the courses is that they are transferable. Many of the courses in the program transfer to other post-secondary institutions across BC. And also, uh, if you decide that you do want to complete uh, further education after completing the certificate, there is a pending articulation with Camosun so that the certificate will ladder into the second year of Camosun's computer, or Camosun's diploma in information and computing systems. Awesome, thank you so much, Brian. Um, so I'm gonna take a little bit of time speaking about admissions and financial aid and some other services. So admissions um, to get into this program, there's two requirements um, and these are for domestic students. So they're looking at a C in English 12 and a C plus in a pre-calc um, 11 or equivalent. So you see all those different courses. You just need one of them, not all of them. If you have any questions about that, don't hesitate to reach out um, and we can walk through what you might need, what you might need to upgrade. Um, and, and that's essentially it. It's important to note that admissions at NIC and for this program are first applied, first qualified, first invited. So that means if you apply and you meet those two admission requirements and there's space in the program, you're going to get a seat offering. Um, so if you're really excited about a program such as this, it's really important you apply sooner than later because it is kind of first come, first serve in that regard. Um, there are separate admission requirements for international students and we encourage all interested international students to our Office of Global Engagement for support. Um, upgrading, as I mentioned, NAC uh, offers upgrading, um, so you can get those entry-level requirements tuition-free. So this is fantastic. Um, so if you have any questions about upgrading, um, don't hesitate to reach out. And I also just wanted to note, we do have assessment uh, services and prior learning recognition. So if you've been working or out of school for quite a while, come chat to us because we might be able to assess you to determine if you already meet those admission requirements just based off your life experience and knowledge that you've already accumulated. So um, cost, domestic fees, tuition uh, listed here is the cost of the program. So taking the course, NISU fees is our student union. Lab is essentially what we use to maintain the computer lab software in the space that students will be learning in. Um, books, this is an estimated cost just for planning purposes, so they do estimate high on that one. Learner resource supports um, our learning commons, our library supports math, supports tutoring, all those extra support services. And then students are automatically opted into a health and dental, and there is an opt-out process if you do have your own coverage. There are separate fees for international students. Again, just make sure that you're reaching out to our Office of Global Engagement for support there. 
Um, now, while we just went through the cost of a program, it's really important to know that every school offers financial aid. So NAC, um, our NAC Foundation uh, last year gave away over 500,000 to our students. So that is a massive amount of different scholarships and bursaries that students have access to. Um, the applications are open now and the deadline is April 29th, 2020. It's important that you apply to the program first and get a student number before you can start working on this application. But the nice thing is it's one application form and you're gonna get considered for everything. And as you work on the application, you can log in, log out. You don't need to sit down and do it all at once. But with any questions around financial aid, we've dedicated financial aid advisors to help students make financial plans, budget, um, apply for student loans, learn about other scholarships and bursaries and grant options. So we really encourage students to reach out to us, set up a financial aid appointment and get all the support you need. Um, I also just wanna speak a bit more broadly about North Island College. You may or may not be familiar with us. We are a regional college. So we serve the North Island and our community. Um, one of the biggest things that supports student success, um, success being not just your academic success, but your well-being, your financial health, really everything, is we have small classes. So our trades are capped at 16. Some of our university classes are capped at 35. So what that means for when you're working with Brian is you're going to get to know Brian and your other instructors really, really well. And that's important because they're the ones who are going to be supporting you, answering your questions. They might know the industry really well. Uh, so they're going, to, they're going to be the ones to kind of help you with career searching and they might be your very first reference letter. So it's important to build relationships with your faculty. They're also experts in their field. Um, so that's a great resource for students. We also have student services, which I'm going to summarize in the next slides here. Um, and as Brian mentioned, we work really collaboratively with other institutions such as Camosun. Um, so there are pathways and partnerships that students can take advantage of. They can start at NAC and then transfer, transfer elsewhere later on. And of course that affordability um, as an access institution, we're subsidized a bit differently. So we're able to keep our tuition lower than some other institutions. So student services. So that really embodies anything that supports students succeed. So we have advising and counseling, so our educational counselor advisors support with registration, program exploration, assessments, planning. We have employment, um, student employment advisors who help students with resumes, cover letters, job hunts. We also have personal counseling available to all our students. We also have dedicated Aboriginal advisors to support, support students, so um, that's accessible for those individuals as well. We also have something called the Department of Accessible Learning. So if you're a student that have, um, has different learning needs, you have an in individual education plan, you can connect with that department to get a wide range of service supports and resources for students. Our Library and Learning Commons provides peer tutoring, writing tutoring, math support, technical services, as Brian noted, pretty much every organization, business, company that I know of definitely is dependent on tech support. Uh, I use them probably every week, um, as well as research support. So those are just some services. But again, because we're a small, intimate um, college, you're going to get to know all the advisors, the counselors, and the instructors. So you're going to be really well supported during your time at North Island College, and even after. So with saying that, if you have any questions about North Island College, how to apply, financial aid, um, anything really, you can reach out to myself. So my contact information is on the screen there. I really support future students as they navigate um, transitioning into the college. And then Brian's always available if you have more industry specific and program specific questions. So we are here to really support you through that. And um, we hope you have a fantastic day and thank you for joining us. All right.